This is Quen code interpreter, which you can run on the browser without having to have internet. You need internet only to download the model for the first time, but after that you don't need internet at all because this model runs locally within your browser using something called web GPU. First of all, I would like to quickly show you a demo of what is happening and then we can discuss more about things that are supporting around it. So as you can see here, it says Quen code interpreter and Quen 2.5 coder 1.5 billion parameter model with access to an in-browser code interpreter. If you're not familiar with what is code interpreter, this is what OpenAI recently calls as advanced data analysis. This is like a, a mini a sandbox within your browser or wherever you're using it. And the sandbox has a ripple system. So if you have a Python code, you can run the Python code. Um, the sandbox could be expanded with the Linux environment. So it, it's your imagination, whatever you want to put it inside. Basically, simple language, a Python ripple within the environment that you have got. So whenever you create a code, the code can be also executed. This is now a default thing on Google Gemini. So if you go to Gemini and ask a mathematical question, Gemini would say that, okay, this is a mathematical question or something like that. Then it would make a Python code to evaluate this and then it would run the code. So this is to say that, okay, LLMs are not really good at certain things. Let's use Python for that. I think it's a very clever way of doing this. But what we're going to do now is we're going to just load the model. So I'm going to click load AGI mini here. And after I do that, as you can see here, the model has been loaded and uh, I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi. How do I disable it? Okay. I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi here. After I disable my Wi-Fi, I want to just show you that my Wi-Fi is disabled basically. I'm going to go to warp. And as you can see here, I'm not getting any internet connection at all. So right now, you can see that there is no internet connectivity here. So I'm going to keep it aside just so that you know that I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not uh, trying to cheat you or something. So while this is happening, I think this might go off. I'm going to go ask a simple question. The simple question is, can uh, reverse the string one little code? As simple as that. And as you can see here, it is working perfectly fine. If I try to open a new tab, so I've got a tab here. So this is my old uh, R library. So if I refresh it, no internet, I can probably play this game and then do all the things. But if you see here, reverse the string, one little coder, it works perfectly fine. So next, maybe you can ask a different question. So one little coder, the answer is one little coder. So maybe let's ask something else uh, where, uh, you know, you might have to do certain calculation. But ask, um, can you multiply um, one, four, five, six, into five, four, four, some, some random number. And as you can see here, it wrote a Python code. It did the calculation and it gave us a result. So we can open our calculator and um, make the calculation just, just in case one, four, five, six into four, double five, double three. And the answer is absolutely right because it's Python. Python is getting written and it is getting executed. Now, as you can see here, the inference is pretty fast um let me write something else can you write a poem about elon musk launching optimus robots maybe a joke let's stick to what we usually do so it's trying to write a python code for this because one thing you have to understand this this is a coding specific model so it's trying to write python code and that python code actually basically gives us the output I mean, this is the weirdest thing that I've seen today. So um, yeah, the explanation is the poem you generated is a humorous yet accurate representation. Okay, what is a poem? Poem itself is Elon Musk launches a starship super heavy to Uranus, a rockets roar. Did I say poem? Okay, I, I, yeah, I think I messed up. Can you write a joke? Ah, that's my bad. Can you write a joke? What Elon Musk launch? Okay, so it's um, creating codes to give us a joke, multiple random jokes. And it is picking one of the random jokes and then writing the code. Um, Elon Musk has a robot about Optimus Prime. He never sleeps because he's trying to get to Mars. I don't know. It's not even funny. Uh, can you write a joke about um, Elon um, uh, safely landing the recent SpaceX? I don't know. Launcher rocket, maybe. Okay. Uh, we have a joke. And it once again, it is creating a bunch of uh, code. And as you can see here, the inference is quite fast. I don't know. It's, 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 I think it's, it's going in loop now. Maybe I asked a wrong question. Maybe Elon hacked my computer. 
Elon, please don't hack my computer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elon. Um, if I refresh this, this will not work because we need internet for this to work. So how is this possible? First of all, uh, this is possible because we have a model. Okay, in this case, I'm showing you Quinn. Okay, I need to enable my internet. Cool. Let me enable my internet. So we are using something called a web GPU or the hugging face pages that we are using leverage is something called web GPU. Web GPU enables your web browser to access, uh, use the, the web page to access the graphical processing unit, the GPU in your computer. And uh, there are like multiple ways that they are doing some um, metal, I think is for Apple. There is something called Vulkan. I'm not very familiar with that. Direct 3D. I remember back in the um, Microsoft Windows days, whenever we used to install games, I've seen something called Direct 3D. So WebG WebGL was the standard before. Now WebGPU has uh, superseded that and become standard. It is enabled uh, starting April 2023 on Google Chrome. I've uh, I've been testing this on uh, Brave. So technically, because it's Chromium, I think it works. I've not tested it on Safari. I've not tested this on Firefox. Now, because uh, we have enabled the internet, let me go back and then refresh this thing. So Quen uh, 2.5 series of models uh, in that there is a Quen 2.5 coder model. So this model has been ported to web GPU and that model was loaded in the hugging face spaces that we were using. So if you go to the hugging face spaces, go to the files and then you see this is just simply HTML file. So there is a bunch of HTML file and um, there is um, let me go inside and you can see uh, CSS and a bunch of other things. There is an index.html and uh, somewhere here in this index.html, the model is being loaded. And after the model is loaded, uh, then uh, this is just everything is happening on the client side um, you know, on your browser. That's why, you know, for the first time, the model, it asks you to load the model. So you can see without loading the model, it will not work. So you have to load the model for the first time. But after that, you don't need internet at all until unless you refresh the browser or you restart your computer. This model itself is a really good model. Quen 2.5 uh, or Quen models don't get usually the kind of recognition that they deserve to get. Uh, I don't know, maybe because they're not uh, uh, Western models or maybe they're primarily from China. Maybe people have the reservation. I don't know what is the reason, but Quen is a really good model. One of the top notch models. I would say um, if you take a Lava model and then fine tune it, and if you feel the quality of the model is good, that is already the baseline for Quen. Quen 2.5 coder, the 1.5 billion parameter model is what we loaded. And this is also co called as code Quen. Uh, there are certain things this model is really good at. One is code generation, code reasoning, code fixing. But also this model can help you to deal with coding agents. So that means the model can do function calling, tool calling, or all the other things. The model has got a really, um, you know, um, good training data and uh, everything that you see here is uh, kind of cutting edge uh, with respect to the, you know, parameter level for 1.5 billion parameter model for that size. This is a really good model. And this model, um, if you were to run on GPU, there are like different uh, GPU uh, benchmarks that you need. But this model, the base one, 1.5 billion parameter model, you can use something like Olam and then run it on your terminal. But if you were to run this on your browser, like in this case, I was trying to run this on the browser using this notebook or using this hugging face space, you can just directly go here. In fact, you can literally download this and then run this on your local computer without any issue. For the first time when the model is being loaded, you need internet connection. And uh, after that, you don't need internet connection at all. You can just go ask any question that you want, like how many um, coffees, uh, do I need to stay awake after 3, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., let's say. And it's trying to create something. Um, it's trying to calculate the number of hours in a day. Uh, so this code calculates the number of hours. Okay, final explanation. You need more information. The number of coffees needed to stay awake after 3 a.m. cannot be 42. Please provide more clarification. I think something, some agentic thing is going on, going behind it. But the point here is that you have got a working code interpreter within the browser, local model. You can do anything that you want. I would strongly encourage you to download this repo, run it locally, and then see what kind of things that you can play with. And uh, you don't have to just rely on OpenAI uh, code interpreter. OpenAI doesn't even call it as code interpreter. They call it as advanced data analysis. Terrible naming, to be honest. But here we go. We have got code, Quen code interpreter powered by Quen 2.5 coder 1.5 billion, pa billion parameter model powered by web GPU running on the browser locally using the hugging face spaces that we just saw. All the links will be in the YouTube description. See you in another video. Happy prompting.